So I have a bit of a funny story to tell you guys today. It's something that happened to me a few nights ago. Uh, so yeah, it's a true story. So sit back and relax and I'll try and set the scene. So it was Tuesday night and as usual I was sitting in my games room or as my kids call it, Daddy's Den. It was roughly about 10.30 I think and my wife had just popped in to say goodnight and give me a kiss, was heading upstairs to bed. Now just to clear it up, my games room is, is pretty much my conservatory. So it's ground level and at night it gets quite warm so we're sitting with the window open. Now I better tell you we had just new neighbours that moved in a few weeks ago I think. Probably, if I was to guess, late teens, early twenties, I'm not sure. We haven't been over yet with the welcome to the neighbourhood basket of fruit yet. We'll kind of wait to see what they're like first, judge them on their weekend activities and whatnot. So yeah, I was sitting on my computer looking up porn or watching YouTube videos or something like that. Not really important anyway. Yeah, because we had new neighbours, I was occasionally peeking around the corner of my curtains to see or hear what they were doing. As I said, it was roughly 10.30 and in this neighbourhood that we live in, it's mainly old people or people that's been here for a long time. A well established settlement, so to see new new faces always stirs up interests. So as I say, to, you know, to hear activity at that time of the evening certainly stirred up my nosiness, wondering what the hell was going on, you know, were they new drug lords in town or fucking chemistry students working on some meth lab, I, I don't know what kids get up to nowadays. So anyway, the story, where, where was I? <laughs> oh yeah, sitting on my computer, blah blah blah, windows open, and yeah, all of a sudden actually, a bang came to my window, and it obviously made me jump, because I was focused on, on what I was doing, so I kind of looked around quite sheepishly, and obviously was a little cautious to go over to the window, not one, wondering what the hell it was. You know, thinking was it the neighbours trying to climb on my window, obviously wasn't sure. So as I slowly swung my chair around and waited for a few seconds to see if I could hear anything, I seen the curtains beginning to move and I was kind of hoping it was the wind. And then all of a sudden another bang and I noticed something had landed on my windowsill. I could see it behind the curtains kind of moving. Obviously the curtains were closed so I was a little scared to say the least. So as I sat frozen to the chair and watching the curtains moving, as I say, hoping it pretty much was the wind because I didn't have a notion what it was. A cat pops its head around from behind the curtains and obviously it startled me because I certainly wasn't expecting to see a cat. To say the least, I screamed. Not like a manly scream, but more of a getting kicked in the testicles type of screech. And I don't know who was more scared at the time, me or the cat. So it pretty much lunged off the windowsill into my room, you know, clambering for an exit somewhere. So I jumped up and opened the back door and I kicked the fucker out the back garden. Now, I, I am an animal lover, just to, just to clear it up. I literally meant no harm, but in fairness I was in my bare feet. So I don't think I did it any harm, so don't be going calling animal cruelty on me. But after I removed it from the room, it was met at the back door by an eight stone black Labrador, which I own. So I'm not sure if the dog was scared, the cat was scared, or I was scared. But the dog began barking, the cat began screeching, and I had possibly stained my pants. And all in that short period of time, my neighbours, who were no more than 20 feet away, were probably thinking, what kind of fucking madhouse is that? Let's not go over there and ask for a lend of some sugar late at night. Anyway, just thought I'd like to share that little story with you, so hope you all don't think I'm a complete pussy. <laughs> kind of reminds me, I suppose you could say, still a bit of a pussy magnet. <laughs> so yeah, see you all in the next video. Love you. Bye.